arrest his people. And they arrested some, and they were released after a lot of uh, lobbying. We don't want this kind of, of intimidation. Uh, party members feel that loyal part, uh, white party members should not be intimidated, and we want that one to stop. Uh, those are the two issues I wanted to talk about. Uh, on um, the WIPA or the um, Memorandum of Understanding of 2013, I want to say that, in my own opinion, the Kamba Nation got a raw deal. Because now there was an MOU in 2013 that uh, Honorable Kalonzo Musioka and Ndaya Okambani support Raila. And we did that man to man. Uh, in 2017, it was to be Kalonzo Musioka. But through their negotiations, and I was a lead negotiator, uh, the committee that was tasked with uh, selecting the flag bearer could not reach consensus. But the four principles, now called five principles, they met and made that decision. I'm still saying it will be a very uh, difficult task to convince the Kamba nation the, to play the second fiddle when they played that in 2013. And in 2017, they expected their son to be the flag bearer. So these are things that I say as a senior member of WIPA, as a Kamba leader, and it's good to say the truth to shame the devil. There is a lot of bad feeling that this formula, we saw it in 2013. And we had hoped that Kalonzo would be the flag bearer, flanked with, uh, by either Raila, Musalia, or Etangula. But now we've seen different results. And I'm saying my own opinion is there will be a lot of lobbying to convince the Kamba nation to vote again uh, for NASA when their son is not the flag bearer. Thank you. Yes? Oh, yes. Uh, I want to know now that you've uh, said you will be to that MOU, you feel stand your ground that the Kamba Nation got a road deal and a senior member of WIPA, you're not satisfied. Are you going to play a, 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 a leading role in campaigning for NASA, or you feel like uh, given that you've been given a road deal both as a, an individual and as a community, not be as active as you are or as you anticipated should it have been Kalonzo? Uh, when we talk, we talk as people's representatives because we are elected on the WIPA party and when we express our opinions, we express the opinions of the people who elected us. They have been calling us, telling us, what is this? We thought Kalonzo would be the uh, presidential flag bearer. Now, do you want us to uh, vote again for Raila and not Kalonzo? So these are hard questions. And that's why I'm saying it's good to be sincere, speak the truth and shame the devil. And it's also good to say it, not to pretend that things are okay when things are not okay. It's at all order to convince our people to vote again for someone else and not Kalonzo as a flag bearer. So does it mean as you and a section of leaders from the Okambani community will not campaign for Raila or being asked for NASA flag bearer? We need to consult first and heal, because this came as a shocker. And as I've said earlier, I was in the negotiating team. And uh, up to the last minute, Kalonzo to be the flag bearer. Up to the last minute. 
how it changed the night they signed, we were all taken aback. And it's a feeling that we need to consult, we need to sit, we need to talk and see uh, the way forward. We cannot assume that our people will just follow uh, some instruction unless they have consultation. They have to be explained why Kalonzo was not the flag bearer. And they have also to know why they should vote for NASA again uh, when there was an MOU. So we don't want anybody to take Kambas for a ride. And I said it before that the bringing in of these other newer people, members to NASA, the dropping up out of the name code was to... Kitui West Member Parliament Francis Nyenze there with uh, his response to the big NASA announcement in a very few words saying that this is a raw deal to the Kamba nation and that they will have to consult on the way forward.